taking a live look outside. It looks sort of overcast and hazy, but we did have warm weather and blue skies. It got early. hot out there today, Steve. Hot? Yeah. Oh, are you complaining <laughs> already? <laughs> we, we just got to warm. It's all relative. I, just, I had to give you up. something for that one. I pushed back. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll argue maybe next Monday when it's 80 degrees. Yeah, but certainly noticeably warmer, yeah. and I think a lot warm. of people are Lovely. welcoming that here. Uh, you don't need the AC just yet, but at the same time, you don't need the heater. As we move through the next couple of days, what we're looking at here, we're looking at rounds of showers and storms where there are are a lot of gaps where it's not raining, but sometimes it will be coming down pretty heavily. So we'll walk you through those windows of dry and wet. Windy but dry on Saturday. We're focusing in on the weekend here. And then on Sunday, absolutely superb. Another superb Sunday, just like we had last Sunday. Mid 60s in sunshine last Sunday, mid 70s in sunshine this go around. Live sweeping radar, nice and quiet here for the moment. We are tracking those showers and storms. These pink boxes that you see across Texas and Louisiana, tornado watches. Luckily, by the time the system gets here, the tornado threat's pretty low, but the heavy rain threat and the threat for some gusty winds is rather high here late Thursday. But we're not there just yet. Nice quiet evening here, 72 at 7 o'clock, and we're only down to about 69 by 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's pretty overcast, but just a spot shower or two. And overnight lows tonight, yeah, you may not even need the jacket here tomorrow morning for some of you. Some of you may want a light spring jacket, but not that bad out there. 56 Perry Hall, 58 Columbia, 58 Westminster. Now, patchy areas of fog are certainly possible, so that's going to reduce your visibility, and that combined with some wet road conditions here from time to time overnight tonight through tomorrow morning means a slower morning commute. So check in with Meg McNamara. She'll be all over tomorrow morning with the visibility and where those showers are the heaviest. A lot of that will be gone here by about 10 or 11 in the morning. In the afternoon, we may get a glimpse or two of sunshine before more rain tomorrow night. And then we get the big round of rain Thursday evening. Temperatures tomorrow will be not quite as warm as today, but still not bad. 59 morning showers at 6 in the morning, up to near 70 by lunchtime, mid 70 70s for many locations, upper 70s away from the bay, low 70s near the bay. After we get through that morning round of showers, I think we're pretty much dry here for a good chunk of the afternoon. 68, a stormy day on Thursday, especially in the evening hours. Friday, wind whip showers developing, especially midday into the afternoon hours. How much rain are we expecting? Not a whole lot, but again, it won't take a whole lot for flooding either. So we'll be watching it closely. Here's that next round of rain and thunderstorms moving in Friday and into Friday night before exiting just in time for the weekend. Seven day forecast, mid 70s here for your Wednesday morning shower here. Thursday, that's a day to watch here for some heavier rain and some storms. Friday, showers, wind, 64 degrees, but no worries. We're getting rid of all this business in time for the weekend, 64 Saturday, Ooh. 76 on Sunday. Just go. If you just ignore tax day, that 80 <laughs> degrees on Monday looks even better. Now that, then you might be hot. Yeah, know. You know, it was my daughter who said it today. She was oh. like, Daddy, I'm sweating. Can we go inside? So you know what? Wow. I, just, I think it's just Gotta catching us off guard. Daddy, turn on the AC. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right.